Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this advanced interact system where you can interact with every component inside the level here. So let's go! First of all we need an interact interface, so right click, blueprints, blueprint interface and let's call this interact underscore interface. Let's open this up. This gets one function, of course the interact. Compile and save this. So we are done here. Let's go to the settings, project settings, to the input. And I already created an action mapping called interact and put this on the E key. You can choose, of course, whatever you want. Then we need a widget. I already prepared one. Also, I imported these images here. We have this circle that's empty and also the circle that's full. We use this later to interact with something. Let's take a look on the widget. So right click, use interface widget. Inside the widget, we have only this image here, which is exactly in the center of the canvas. That's very important for later that you can interact with the component. So let's close this one and go to our character. In my case, it's the third person character. You can also use the first person character. If you are using the third person character, make sure you add up a second camera. So this here, the first person camera. Go to the details, the use pawn control rotation has to be true and the follow camera has to be auto active to false. Let's go to the event graph. Also, I would recommend when you go to the mouse input that you get the control rotation and set the actor rotation for the jaw. That's very important for later. Let's start up with the interact. So we need an event tick. We get the first person camera here get the world location as well we get the world rotation from the rotation we get the forward vector from the vector we say vector multiplied by an float put this to 500 that's the radius that we can interact with the component later we go from the event tick here and say line trace by channel the get world location is the start point and we go from the world location again and say vector plus vector and connect this one here and this is the end. Then we go from the out hit and say break hit result. Then we go from the hit actor and say does implement interface. We select our interact interface that we created. Of course we need the branch to ask like this one. We need a new variable called interact actor. This is of course an actor object reference. Then we want to set the interact actor on true as well on false. On true we want to set it to the hit actor up here. Then we call our interact action event, get the interact actor and call the interact message on press. As well, we get the begin play event. We want to create a widget and choose our pointer widget that we created. Then we want to promote this to a variable. Let's call this just widget. And at the end, we want to add it to the viewport. Let's go back to the line trace here, because at the end, we take out the widget here, get the pointer, so the image, and we just want to set the brush from texture up here. So we search up the empty image of course on full we set it up here when we see something and down here we want to set it to the empty image like this one so let's see if this works when we hit play we have this marker here as you can see so the empty circle and if we interact with the component that has the interact interface we will see the full circle 
So of course we have to create actors that has the interact interface. So let's start up with this kitchen here. I want to create a left door and right door and a drawer that we can interact with this components here. So right click, blueprint class, actor, and let's start up with the left door. Let's open this up. The left door gets a static mesh as a root component, as well as a variable called door open, as a boolean, of course. So let's go to the event graph. We can delete everything inside here, open up the class settings, and we have to add up our interact interface. Compile and save this, because now we are able to call the interact event from the interact interface. Let's get out the boolean here. We need a branch to ask, like this one. On true, we want to set the door open to false. And on false, we want to set it to true. Now we need the timeline, so add timeline. Call this open door. The true goes to reverse and the false goes to play. Open this up, we add up a new flow track. We can also call this open door if you want. Right click, add key. This goes to time zero, value zero. We add another key that goes to time two and value is 90. You can also set the length to two if you want, like this one. Let's close this, take out the static mesh here. We want to set the relative rotation. We want to update it. So right click split structure pin and we want to set the jaw. We need a second variable called mesh. This is an static mesh object reference. We go to our construction script. We take out the static mesh up here. We want to set the static mesh, this one here, and we set it to the new mesh, like this one. Compile and save this and make sure that the mesh is public. We can close this now, copy and paste this, and let's call this right door. Open this up and we just have to make one adjustment. We take the timeline here, select the second key here and put the value to minus 90. We can close this as well. So let's fix this fridge here. In this case, the fridge is already in Blueprint Actor. If not, you can create one by right click, Blueprint Class Actor. Let's open this up. So pretty basic, we have three static meshes, nothing else. So we go to the add components here and we search for the child actor. Go to the details and we want to select our left door. We go to the default here. As you can see, now we can select the static mesh. So let's select the left door here. Check where it is. This one here. Go back to the fridge. Go to the child actor and put the mesh inside here. Of course, we can copy the location. That's easier. Put it to the location of the child actor. And when we now delete the left door, we have the child actor as the door, as you can see. We do the same thing with the second door. So copy and paste this. This time we select the right door, go to the default, search for the mesh that we want. This one, put this right here. Of course, we need the location like that. So now we will just replace the static meshes with our child actors. So the left and the right door and the static meshes that we want. When we now hit play, you can see the interact works pretty good. When we press E, the door is opening. We can also close this one and this works simultaneously. So let's skip the process for the rest of the kitchen. The only special thing that we have are the drawers here. Let's open this up. This is basically a copy of the left door. The only thing that we have to adjust are the timelines. So the second key goes from time two to value one. 
As well, we have the lerp vector where we can set how much the drawer came out. And of course, we will set the relative location set of the rotation. Let's see if this works. When we hit play, we can interact with every component in the kitchen. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.